Let's draw some seashells. Take a scrap piece of paper and cover it with graphite from a 6B pencil. Rub your soft cloth over the surface to pick up some of this graphite. We are now going to use the cloth to draw with. Start by shading in the background by rubbing your cloth over the surface of your drawing paper. As you can see, there isn't any detail, just a few shadings. So to make it darker, just rub your cloth over a few more times. We can now shade in the sand in the foreground, put down a line and then soften it towards the bottom of the page by pressing lighter on the cloth. By adding several of these lines at random places, we create the illusion of sea sand. Now use an eraser to plot the shape of the large shell and use your cloth to get some basic shadings in place. Do the same with the two smaller shells. At this point, we're just trying to establish their shape and their position. Now we're going to alternate between the eraser and your pencils to complete each shell. You'll use the eraser to shade in the highlights and you'll use the pencil to shade in the shadows. You do that by varying the pressure on the eraser or the pressure on the pencil to get lighter and darker shadings. What you want to look out for is how quickly or slowly each rib fades lighter or darker. Then you also want to compare the tonal values with where you're drawing now with the tonal value on your reference photo and then get a match between the two. This front shell is curved so get each rib lighter and lighter going towards the left to make it look curved and indicate the sun is coming from the left. Make the area underneath the back shell really dark to make it look as though you can see in underneath the shell. Now let's move on to the large shell. He's the star of the show so we'll need to add more detail here and we'll do this gradually. So we'll start off with the basics by getting the overall tonal value correct. With this shading you're trying to get the shell to look curved and obviously we're trying to get the shape of the shell correct. The next most important detail is to get the rib shaded in. Use your eraser to plot out the ribs. What's important here is to get the directions of these ribs correct. What is not important is getting each rib in the correct place. In other words, the amount of ribs you're going to have on your drawing is probably going to be different to the amount of ribs that you see on the photograph. Start with soft thin lines and then gradually lighten and widen them by comparing to the reference photo to get that shape right. If it starts broad and bright and then tapers darker and thinner on the photo, then do similar on your drawing. I'm using a pen shaped eraser. You can also use a kneaded eraser or even a regular eraser if you want to. With the highlights sorted, you can use pencils to adjust and fine tune the valleys between each of the ribs. Because the sun is coming from the left, each valley will be darker on the left and lighter to the right of the valley. The bottom area is in shadow, so you can go quite dark there. At the moment, we have a perfect shell. So let's give it some character by adding some dings and dents caused by tumbling around in the sea. The most prominent of these are the scratches. To draw them, you need to notice that each scratch forms its own highlight and its own shadow. So lift out the highlights using your eraser and shade in the shadows with your pencil. Now let's lift out and draw in a few more puck marks and ensure the edge of the shell is well defined. Lastly, we can add the shadow cast by the shell onto the sea sand. This shadow is darker against the shell and fades lighter towards the right. And with that, we have a beautiful shell drawing. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please like and comment below. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials.